There's so much to love about Christmas, right? You got Rudolph, you got the mulled wine, you got the mince pies, but sometimes we forget that the nativity story really actually happened. So I've come on location here in Israel to find out how it really went down. We started our journey here in Nazareth, where we learned that Mary was most likely a teenager when she found out as a virgin, she was gonna have a baby. Not only that, this baby was gonna be the savior of the world. That's a lot to take in before your sweet 16. Then we went to the Judean desert where we found out that Mary and Joseph had to travel for 80 miles, braving wild boars, bears, lions, the threat of robbers, who knows what else, until they finally arrived at Bethlehem. And we can't forget the shepherds. We went to Bethlehem, to their fields and their hills where they were just minding their business, but got the best news ever. And now we find ourselves here, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. But is this the end of the story? Really, it's more like the beginning. Check out today's passage. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. Okay, whoa, hold on. Let's break that down for a second. Over the course of his life, Jesus fulfilled hundreds of prophecies. And the shepherds in our passage today probably knew 700 years before the time of the birth of Jesus, a savior would come from Bethlehem. Now get this, Bethlehem in Hebrew is Beit Lechem, literally house of bread. Now this is great because later as Jesus grows up, he refers to himself as the bread of life. He says, whoever comes to me will never go hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. So Jesus, this Messiah, is born in a world where there's war and devastation so that he can bring life and peace and joy. This was good news for these shepherds. And it's also good news for us. But enough from me, let's get back to the passage. And there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard this shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. 